Yeah, you know, re really proud of our team this past week and the way that we were able to just kind of display that fight that we know that we're going to have night in and night out. You know, really proud of the way that, that we played and that we came back against the tough UTSA team. I felt like it really showed the perseverance that our team has. You know, one of the things that I love about that game is in that game, you know, you look at the run and you're able to see, you know, the offensive firepower that we displayed there in the fourth quarter. But one of the things that often goes you know unnoticed but is just as huge a part of the game are those defensive stops that we had to get down the stretch in order to make that run to have that comeback I felt to my point Dexter was huge on both ends of the floor for us in that game she scored the ball really well for us down the stretch and she came up with some huge defensive blocks and defensive steals in that game and then you you guys know there's there's not an easy night in our league there's such great parity in our conference right now when you look all across the rankings and you look all across the 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 scores that are there you know night in and night out you see the competitiveness that exists in our league and it wasn't any different you know we had a tough trip over to over to Wichita State and you know again we were right there you know it was a four point game with under a minute to go and our team really battled and never never stopped fighting we came up a little bit short in that game you know Delaney Crawford had an excellent offensive game for us in the way that she scored the ball all over the floor um, but again I, I am really excited about where our team is at. I'm excited about the practice we had yesterday and just how hungry we are. Um, you know, down the stretch in, in February, you're looking at you're looking at toughness and you're looking at teamwork. And I really believe that that are that is two strengths of the team that we have. And we're excited to be able to step on the floor and compete again on Wednesday. We talk time and time again about being at home and the way you guys have been able to dominate that this season. Having these two games at home this week and really have these girls rested after that Wichita State game, what's that going to kind of look like, especially if it's a day away? Yeah, well, we we love our home court, first of all, you know, being in the Reynolds Center and having the support of the fans that we have and the community that comes out and supports our young women. It's, it's really special here, and we absolutely feed off of that every single game. You know, being able to come into this week and being able to, to hopefully put together a home stand here is going to be going to be really crucial, you know, down the stretch. And so we're excited to be able to be back here. We're excited to be a little bit more in our routine, but most importantly, just having that support from the community community is huge. What's this uh, UAB uh, matchup going to look like? Obviously, it looks like this is the first time you guys are going to play them. It is, before. yeah. Uh, it's our first time. Just especially that, and it's a really evenly matched, like, matched matchup, too. Yeah, you, you look on paper and both teams, you know, both teams play fast, both teams space the floor, both teams like to shoot the three. You know, there's there's some different things that they that they do offensively and different things that we do offensively. It's going to be a really competitive game. You know, we're excited, you know, to be able to step on the floor on Wednesday and be able to, to, to have that next, you know, that next moment, where, especially after you come off of a loss where you may have a little bit of a sour taste in your mouth. You know, we have, we have players that are so competitive and they're so hungry and I'm excited for them to get that opportunity knowing UAB is a tough team and knowing that it's going to be a tough matchup but knowing that both teams like a high pace and both teams you know can shoot the ball well it's going to be a fun game. How did you guys celebrate Delaney's thousand point? Yeah, well, you know, different ways is how we do it on, on our team. We obviously congratulate her, and those individual accomplishments are, are huge. And one thing that is special about this team is the way they support each other and the way they believe in each other. You know, there nobody's more excited for Delaney than her teammates, and Delaney's probably like, oh, yeah, so what? Not a big deal, and all her teammates are jumping around, you know, congratulating her. And those moments are, are so special for a team, and it's special to be a part of a team that celebrates each other like we do. Angie, kind of going off of that, it's got to be exciting for the program and for you and for looking ahead and recruiting. You've got two 1,000-point scorers as juniors. I mean, not many schools or not many athletes would score 1,000 points in their career. Just what, what does that mean to the program for the program? 
Well, you know, first of all, those accomplishments that the that our players get, they're, they're unbelievable in the way that they step on the floor and they fight and they compete for each other. And then anytime anybody has those moments to get that, you're really excited for them. But to be able to do it in as few games as, as Tamira Poindexter and Delaney Crawford have been able to, to do that in, it, it, it says a lot about them. It says a lot about their work ethic and it says a lot about, you know, their, wh what they do when they're on the floor and how they, they do all of that so that their team can win. And I think that's one of the most exciting things about it is just the unselfishness that those individuals who have those accolades by their name, you know, they, they do it with such an unselfishness that makes our team better. It is exciting for a team, you know, to think about, okay, we do have, you know, we do have some younger players that are getting a lot of experience. We have, you know, some juniors that, that we rely on pretty heavily. You know, it is exciting for our program to think about, you know, we want to build a championship program here. We want to build to that and to know that we're still in those steps and in that process but headed the right direction is good. Any other questions? I don't think that um, I realized this, sorry, um, but over a week ago you got your 50th win as a head coach and you kind of made history. You talked about the girls and them celebrating their thousandth career point, but how did the team celebrate your 50th win as the two-year head coach? I got diced with some really cold ice water. There's no doubt, you know, about that. But but again, you know, all the credit for that and, and all those, you know, all those accolades that you see, all all the credit for that goes to our players. You know, they're the ones that are, are stepping on the floor. They're in between the lines. They're going to war and they're going to battle for each other every single day. And so just being able to share those moments with this team and have those moments with this team is really special.